Hello, everyone. I am uh, doing something a little different today because, of course, I'm all about prompting and AI image generation in general. I love Leonardo, but one of the things that I cannot stand about Leonardo is that it is very terrible at lettering. I have to specifically ask it not to produce letters because it come out looking like Klingon or whatever Klingon looks like. Um, so I was checking around a while back and I found this and I could not believe my luck. As you can see here, these are renders and look at the lettering. They actually make sense. They're really, I mean, it's very good at, at lettering. I hear that Dolly 3 um, is also like this, but even more intense as far as lettering. They're fantastic at it. So I'm hoping at some point Leonardo will kind of integrate this technology and just kind of get better at lettering. But until then, I'm sticking with ideagram, especially if I wanted to do anything regarding logos or anything specific. One thing I, I do have a... Um, a video about coloring pages and I wanted to show you guys what this has here just to show what this does because I was just playing around with it and um, it comes up with also fantastic and amazing images you can do them in short size and regular video size or one-to-one -one, whichever you want and for right now it is free now I've been on here where it has struggled to fulfill my generation order so I suspect that at some point in the very near future, maybe even before 2023 is up, they may come up with a, pay, uh, a paid uh, subscription program. So just be aware that that is possibly, that's more than likely in the cards for this. I'm not really sure. But if it does, I hope they do have a free one as well as a paid one so people can take a look and play around with it. But either way, when you have coloring pages, this is what it comes up with. Now, I, like I said, I, I did... Um, a video on coloring pages in Leonardo and with one prompt here one quick prompt I'm able to get something that would look really great as a coloring page uh, these are my four renders now just like Leonardo you can or anybody can remix these all of these images are public only um, and if they do have any kind of an anomaly in them you have to of course uh, download for example this is a, a a community one you can download it and you can go ahead and edit it however you want in another platform like if it were if I wanted to do anything with this I would download this and take it into Leonardo canvas and go ahead and and do the edits in uh, with stable diffusion I need stable diffusion 2.1 on something like this because I'm not quite sure the other um, fine-tuned models will work really well with it so I choose something neutral just to be honest but you can see you can do a lot um, you can do this looks like fantastic as a print or it can be, a, you know, a, a t-shirt. So you can have a lot of uh, fun with it. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you live what these guys do with, um, let's see, with letters. So a man with an empty wallet, man opening an empty wallet. with flies and dust coming out. Poster, let me see, Connell, poster. I shouldn't put down the first, the very beginning, because if I'm poster of, uh, okay. Because sometimes when it comes to AI, what you put in the very beginning has a lot of more, has a lot more weight than what comes down the line. Um, letter prominent, elegant text to or to pay attention. All right, so let's see. It's a poster um, with typography, and I'm just going to go through that and generate. Um, as you can see right now, you know, a lot of people are on this, and I'm constantly getting a lot of the trending uh, images. And you can tell this is a fantastic print for a t-shirt. Um, what are those, samosas? Um, 
and you know stickers and all that stuff so I, I imagine this would be fantastic for anybody who's looking to create stickers to sell on their uh, on their store or this is a beautiful concept um art that you can you know you're saying double exposure and you can take a look at these prompts the one thing i i found really refreshing about this is that because it's public i can take a look at all the other prompts i can actually remix the prompt take a look at it play around with it and get something that i think i would love to to use for my own purposes but let me go ahead and take a look at what yeah that's pretty much it well the bees part yeah this is a little bit too literal but this one's actually pretty good flies coming out looking at it too poor to pay attention i think that's about right too popo to pay attention could be but you can see all of these are really good they may not be perfect i mean or only has two letters but two o's but it is much better than what leonardo has been able to put out um i think in some cases mid journey i haven't checked out mid journey in a while but this kind of lettering is really good and as i said dolly 3 is coming out and i would love to get my hands on it and i will in the future and we'll go over all that um and see what it can do i'm sure it can do fantastic things but the lettering here it's coherent it's understandable you can work with it so if you're looking to do anything as far as logos i strongly recommend you check out ideagram.ai again just remember it is public everybody's stuff is public for now so if you're going to do something um you know private for your thing then you might want to just kind of do something quick generate and maybe get rid of it or what have you and, and then upload into photoshop or leonardo ai or whatever you're using to edit and play around with it but either way i find this so fascinating i've been playing around this for so long and i'm loving all the stuff that i'm seeing so I highly recommend that you guys check this out before it becomes um, before it becomes fully paid, if that's what their plan is. But they're coming up with stuff. It's getting more popular. It's not totally popular, but it's getting more popular. Look at these renders. I'm definitely playing around with it. All right. Thanks for your time and have a fantastic day. I'll see you guys in the next video.